In its base guys, Nissan's GTR spins out a very healthy 545 horsepower, and a track-oriented Nismo model cranks that up to 600 horses. The 2016 GTR ranks as one of the world's top performing production cars. With a seemingly brutish character that hides a surprising level of capability and accessible performance, it's pretty much a class of one. New for 2016 is a 45th anniversary gold edition model. It comes with the same silica brass paint color used on the 2001 Skyline GTR M spec, as well as a gold trimmed VIN plate in the engine compartment, and a commemorative plaque on the interior center console. Nissan says fewer than 30 of these cars will make it to the United States. In addition to the new model, Nissan has dropped last year's track edition, which didn't have a rear seat, and outfitted the base car with 20-spoke race aluminum alloy forged wheels in a near-black finish. Objectively, few cars come close to the GTR's 0-60 mph times of less than 3.0 seconds, or its brilliant all-wheel drive handling. Every model delivers blistering acceleration hooking up perfectly with the inspiring traction from the GTR's brainy all-wheel drive system. But this isn't a car just meant to go in a straight line. A rigid body structure, special springs, and custom-developed Bilstein Damptronic dampers in front help balance ride with track-ready handling. The all-wheel drive system aids handling, too, rear biased, it can send all the power to the rear wheels or up to 50% of it to the fronts. Nissan also provides several drive modes, including an R or Race mode to tune the driving character to the conditions. On the road, the GTR isn't the same raw beast it once was. While Nissan engineers have raised the power on an almost annual basis, they've also dialed in more refinement, improving steering, ride, and interior quality along the way. That makes the current GTR fairly easy to live with given its supercar capabilities. Its jagged outline is perhaps the only non-sequitur. It reads more tuner car, more body kit, than instant classic. The components cut interesting swaths across its luxury group outline. A tomahawk cut at the row offline chops into the rear end, and carbon fiber trim gives the plain interior just a dab of intrigue. The GTR's looks have indeed always been controversial part edgy performance car, part exotic, part race influenced. The 2016 GTR Nismo adds to the race-influenced theme by using aero components inherited from GT3 racing. Thanks to a new rear spoiler, tapered rear bumper, and various front-end improvements mostly in carbon fiber the Nismo has a reduced coefficient of drag and extra downforce for high-speed stability. It rolls on black six-spoke wheels inspired by Nissan's GT500 race car. With four seats, the Nissan GTR makes rare concessions to practicality. It's almost impossible to name another supercar with a pair of rear seats, other than the Porsche 911 Turbo and the GTRs will actually accommodate a pair of kids. There's great, usable space in the GTR's front seats, as well as a use-fill trunk. While engineers have tuned some of the road noise and mechanical charm out of the GTR's cabin in recent years, it's still not optimal for long-distance hauls. Inside, the 2016 GTR Nismo gets a number of improvements, including Alcantara trim, carbon fiber back caros, and a three-spoke steering wheel with Alcantara inserts. Through a connected services advanced performance telemetry system, drivers can download and see their on-track performance. Every model in the GTR lineup comes with a great 3D nav system, Bose Audio, and Bluetooth. An inexpensive-looking cockpit is the GTR's most visible flaw, but if you opt for the premium interior package, it provides infinity-grade luxury in a car with NASA-grade acceleration. Value is the other rather surprising side of the GTR's appeal. You'd have to spend a lot more than the Nissan GTR's $103,365 base price to sling yourself to 60 miles per hour any faster on four wheels. As it stands, the GTR commands respect from a cadre of cars straight out of the exotic section cars like the 911 Turbo, 
Corvette Z06 and practically the entire Raymond M lineups. Key it to life, and your attention needs to be laser focused, even though it's one of the most predictable supercars ever. You roll up into triple digit speeds even in sweeping corners before you can catch your breath.